Where did we left off? In Porto Venere, Italy. It took us a month to reach here in Spain. Two storms and a lot of boat problems. The strange thing about sailing, you have no news while you're sailing. And when we arrived in Spain, we were surprised to learn that Spain went complete lockdown and the whole world started their second lockdowns. Whatever, we were still determined to sail to the Canaries for the Atlantic crossing. And here we are in Spain together with our friend Joel. I cannot express how grateful we were to have her with us. Whole Catalan region was under lockdown. Everything was super strict. So we decided to sail to Ibiza through Valencia. We started our trip with a small heart attack. One of the ropes went into our propeller. Luckily, Rafael was able to solve this problem. Hi there. <laughs> Sorry, I was checking the ocean. <laughs> He's watching. He's listening as well. Come on. Right now we're headed to Ibiza, or as the British say, Ibiza. We left Valencia five hours ago. We're halfway there. We saw a lot of dolphins and some baby whales. We think. We think. <laughs> and uh, we have a great sunset. Everything is going well. We're going to anchor in Ibiza, in a in a in a little bay. And that's it. Life is good. <laughs> so Chol is in the kitchen, and Chef Chol, <laughs> Chef Chol's magic. Just awesome. <laughs> so during these like shaky shaky days, we can't cook, but she's so brave. She doesn't get seasick, and she's cooking. So power! She's, she's gonna feed us exactly. <laughs> You're born a sailor, Joel. Drunken you sailor. <laughs> you need to you need to sail more. <laughs> and with us, with us, please. Yes, please. Don't leave us. I love it. That's the best couple sailing all around the world. That's a guarantee, guys. I, I hope we will go around the world with my all like concerns and stress. Leo? <laughs> 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 Are you having a perfect dinner? You doesn't seem happy with this meal. Uh, we left Valencia. We're gonna be back in Valencia on Monday, three days later, for more boat work. So it's gonna be standing rigging this time. It's the biggest job left on this boat. So we have to do that. And after we're done with it, the boat will be ready for everything, especially for the crossing. But the biggest problem... Mama. Oh. Mama. Yes. The biggest problem is whether we do it this year or not. Okay, Leo. <laughs> Who wants pasta? We arrived in the north of Ibiza and anchored in this beautiful anchorage. Took our dinghy and we landed in this bay that had a great restaurant people were walking and hiking so we decided we would go for a hike Ibiza and maybe Formentera also but mostly Ibiza had by far the best anchorages as you can see the water was perfectly clean it was not crowded mostly because of Covid and there were these deserted hidden places that only boats could access which made the place really magical compared to the image that we had before of Ibiza being a party place we were just blown away by a completely different island than what we were expecting
boat and we came here by dinghy. We parked our dinghy, we walked up and we walked all the way. Now we're going back to this place. Tomorrow we're gonna come here and swim. This place is quite impressive. We've been to a lot of places this summer in Mediterranean, but Ibiza, especially this Cala, it's called Cala Conte, is by far the best place. Look at this water, how clear. We swam this morning, it was perfect, it's cold but it's perfect. I mean, we're in November and we can swim here, it's, it's really impressive. We're going to have sunset drinks right now, quarantine everywhere, I can still believe that we're walking freely, having drinks and swimming. We're so lucky. We're really lucky. down we ordered having drinks and great Spanish tapas they always looking forward to eating I think right yeah I thought you did it he's learning how to prepare pan Sí. Y se nota que es un vino que todavía le falta un poco. Mm, Mamá mía. Y a mí. Wow. Muy bien. Muy bueno, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Muy bien. Mamá mía. Muy bien. Video because no, no, I'm no. so freaking happy like you can shoot a video. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, one recommendation. Leave your job. Never return to your corporate life. <laughs> okay. We'll ask you the same question when you're out of money. <laughs> <laughs> We get a lot of questions from viewers about how we raise a toddler on the boat, whether uh, he's able to walk, crawl or play enough, how does he socialize, etc. Just a lot of concern about this. And the truth is, we spend at least 50% of time during the day outside the boat. If we're not sailing, we're probably going somewhere by dinghy, we're on land and we're discovering. And as you can see here in the video, uh, Leo just learned how to walk. He still needs some support, but this is how he learned. He learned by just every time he was on land, just trying to discover, crawling, getting support from these stones you see there on the left, or just getting interested by stuff that's around and trying to move. So. Now socializing, that was a big question mark for us as well. We did not want to have a weird boat kid that uh, grew on the boat by himself with his parents and does not know how to socialize. And again, that's not true, that's not what happened. Every time we went somewhere, there were families with toddlers 
um, not necessarily close age to, to Leo, but still, there were kids around. We'll show more about pandemic life in Ibiza. You'll also see how we locked ourselves up on the boat for days. 